G'day guys, hope you're all doing well. This string of videos will bring you my top 10 official base locations for each Genesis Part 1 biome. The first 5 will be for established tribes you can forge to splurge the materials. The last 5 will be locations for when you are just starting out or transferring from another server and need a tucked away location for you and your Bloodstalker before building up your defenses. None of the locations in these videos will be in mission zones, underwater or in caves. If any of these tickle your fancy, don't forget to hit the thumbs up starting from the in-game rated easiest to hardest biomes. Alrighty guys, so welcome back to part 4 out of the 5 uh, part series of videos. So this time we're going to be starting off in the Volcano Biome. So location number 1, 20.2, 67.4. There we are on the map in the top left hand corner of the biome. And let's do a quick surrounding guide. So I'd like to think that this is pretty obvious as to why I would choose this spot. Uh, obviously quite hot here uh, in Hades Reservoir. But if anyone was to try and attack you from below, well... Lava doesn't do a whole heap of damage, but it's enough to be quite annoying. So, there's that. And a little bit of cover from the top, but ultimately, yeah, you could easily stick down an Indie Forge or whatever else that you would need uh, on this bad boy. So it's neatly tucked away. The cover isn't so much from people, it's more so just to make sure you're not going to get hit by the volcano when it decides to erupt. And uh, a few of these base locations will be based on that premise as well. So with that out of the way, let us move on to location 2. Location 2 will see us at 20.9, 85.8. There we are on the map as a reference guide. So decided to take a slightly different tactic this time. Still staying near lava because it's just nice to sort of be near it. But this time around it's a, it's a bit closer to the actual uh, cliff platform itself. I don't believe you get damaged by standing here as long as I don't go red. No. Okay, so I don't go red from standing here, which is a good thing. And what I've sort of changed up is just this part here where we're next to these uh, thorny bushes. These bushes can also be picked up for berries and, and whatnot. But I figured that being near a sort of land zone means that if you needed to, uh, for whatever reason, you'll be able to leave this area on foot, should you so wish. It does mean that... Um, People could come along with, say, a, a trike or a golem or something like that and start soaking turrets if they really wanted to. So it's up to you as to your discretion. Um, if you wanted to, say, lower this down a bit further, have it down there, or the opposite and raise it up a bit higher and bring it up closer to where that vine is and where that cliff face is, it's, it's up to you. But uh, there's something slightly appealing to me about being able to walk along it if required because not, obviously not every creature you have is going to be capable of immense transport. So, again, same sort of deal. Uh, this is the general area. It, that's a little unnerving, but... Oh, it spotted me. Of course it has. Um, so nonetheless, yeah, I'd like to think this is a fairly half-decent spot. Um, you probably just want to be careful about how you build it, but nonetheless, a decent base with... Maybe a tech jenny and a force field. You know, it's going to be a, a pretty good force to be reckoned with. The volcano biome is fairly unforgiving. So it's only going to be people who are also well established that are going to try to raid you. So we'll move on to location number three. Alrighty. So here we are at location number three. 20.5, 81.6. There we are on the map as a reference. Alright, so again, we're nice and close to lava. I'm guessing you're sort of seeing the theme here that I'm going with because being near lava is quite a uh, handy trick. It's a nice tool. The only time this obviously won't help you is if the person trying to raid you has got a Magnosaur. Um, but I find that they're probably not quite as popular as what they once were, especially since mining drills of a decent quality can probably harvest metal at a better rate. So what I've done here, I've tried to go behind a rock, trying to just sort of stay out of the way a little bit. Hopefully people walking along this passageway along here aren't going to see you, but you never know. It could very well turn into some kind of uh, festivity of people and Bloodstalkers seeing you and, and what have you. But 
it's up to you. This isn't easily accessible via the land. You know, you stick down some spam up around here, down onto these cliffs and whatnot, and before you know it, you've uh, sort of stopped people from being able to fob up at least. So they'll need skiffs or um, or the gas bags or rapers and probably golems and whatnot if they want to try and soak your turrets. This lava is not overly deep, but it will damage anything that goes into it, of course. So, with this one out of the way, we'll now move on to location number 4. Alright, location number 4, 25.9, 74.2. There we are on the map as a reference. So this time I've gone up to the top, as far as I can, to the volcano. So the world border, although it's not showing right here, it is about here. So they can't really attack you from above, which is a nice thing. And below, well, they're going to be quite a long way below. So, chandeliering some turrets and whatnot along here isn't a bad idea and predominantly I'd probably be sticking a teleporter on this and maybe just doing a turret tower because this isn't really near anything, someone would have to be sort of flying around on a skiff or a bloodstalker in order to spot this. So you're nice and out of the way and any um, materials and whatnot you need, I'm sure you could easily get a, um, a bloodstalker and a mining drill and level up the weight and just go ham, you know, you do what you need to do. There are plenty of different tactics to sort of build up and gain the resources you need. So with that one out of the way, we'll now move on to the final established base location. All right, so here at the last location, 48.8, 80.2. There we are on the map in the south end of the biome. And here we are in this pinnacle here. So these pinnacles actually sort of line the bottom of the biome itself. I'll quickly fly over to the other ones that I found as well. I figured I might as well just include them all in the one sort of script. Um, being up here means that down below you have the gas zone. So without a gas mask or a hazmat suit, whoever comes through here is going to have a pretty nasty time when they start spewing out the gas like that. So up here and then we follow this along. We should come across a few other areas. I think this is one here. Yep. So we've got another one here. Again, just like a twin platform sort of setup, one for breeding, another one for your main crafting and um, production and what have you. And I think there should be another one. Is this another one? Yep. So we've got another one here as well. This isn't quite as sort of hidden away and, and quite as high, but nonetheless it'll still do the job that you need it to do. Especially if you've already got the other ones um, sort of taken up and, and whatnot. What the hell is going on over here? Ah, right. Okay, well, I'm going to ignore that. So, yeah, one space here, up against the world border. Being up against the world border and being nice and high is always a good thing. You got the two here, so this would definitely be um, more of a power play sort of area, especially if you stick a third one. Like, you can get a third one here. I just simply didn't place it because, well, you get the point. And the other one which is over here that um, I showed you guys at the beginning. So all along here, they're all pretty good spots. It's the same sort of premise as what you saw in the ocean biome. Just making sure you're staying up and out of the way and making sure you stay out of mission areas. And in doing so, you just make it that much harder for people to raid you, which is the whole point. So now we'll move on to the more startup sort of locations. All right, so the first location, 11.7, 75.5, there we are on the map in the north. So when you spawn in at Volcano North, you're going to spawn in very close to that glitch over there, and you just run over here and place down your um, your foundations and whatnot. I'm not sure if you can place... No, it's saying it's obstructed. I'm not sure what it's obstructed by. I can't see anything here that would... Oh, there's some kind of invisible barrier here. All right, well, fair enough. So, the barriers actually ran about here, so that's okay, that's fine. A 2 by one will still get you everything that you need, especially for starting off, and this sort of just gets you out of the way, but you're still close to a spawn point, just in case you need to teleport, and then you can quickly just run into your base, as you probably won't have a tech teleporter and, and transmitter and the other sort of goodies that, you know, higher end tiers of tribes will have, but that's fine. So we'll move on to location number seven. 
All right, so location seven, 11.8, 72.0. There we are on the map. So we're not very far away from the previous spot, but this has a two part to it. So this one down here is obviously tucked away amongst these, I don't know, I don't even know what to call these. Like they look like horns, but at the same time, they also look like a tree. Uh, yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm going to leave that up to you guys to decide whatever the hell that is. But this growth here sort of hides it away in there. It's just a little one by one. Do what you need to, get a few bits going. Down below that, in sort of the, the seven location B, a little bit lower. And again, sort of hidden away, trying to get behind this, um, this thorn here. But two by one, which it just increases your production capacity. So always a good thing. Anyone who wants to try and get directly beneath you is going to have to try and deal with the lava. That's a pain in the ass. Anyone who wants to try and deal with being over here, well, this is a mission zone, so you can't build in here. So again, it's just sort of a nice tucked away area. If you have a bloodstalker, just pop it off to the side somewhere. Probably about here, hop off and then go into your base, do what you need to do, and continue out again. Go and grab your glitches and do your missions and get all the all the mission rewards. So with that out of the way, we'll now move on to location number eight. All right, so location number eight, 21.0, 73.3. There we are in the map as a reference. And, oh, right. So this is tucked away uh, behind this rock here, underneath this large overhang, not inside a mission zone, and making sure that, uh... <laughs> making sure that you fit a two by one here. So it's a little bit awkward the fact that there's an iguanodon right there, but nonetheless that's a pathway right there. Got obsidian, you got metal, you got stone, and I believe those little shrubs down there could be used as well. Just gotta be careful because uh, while um, I was selecting the spots, I did come across a basilisk, which I don't think is here anymore. No, I'm guessing it's not here anymore, but nonetheless, the foundations are not close enough to block the spawns here. So if you're needing uh, some quick uh, metal, some quick wood, whatever else, grab your chainsaw, grab your mining drill, uh, grab, like, tr still sort of tame up an RG, you don't have to worry about obviously riding it because you won't be able to. And then once you've got the mining drill, or a decent Anki, then you can come along to these red gems that are just, oh, 50 meters, or 150 feet for you, uh, Imperial folk. Uh, just come up over the top of this ledge here, and then come down to here, and, uh, yeah, you should, uh, not really have much issues. Oh, and I guess this is technically crystal. I haven't actually harvested the white, um, the white crystal looking nodes, but I'm just going to assume that's crystal, which is fine. That's crystals needed and all, more element shards over here. So you've got about maybe 10 nodes of um, element shards all up. So if you can find a nice sort of secluded area to try and turn that into elements or into dust, whatever it is that you're needing, then yeah, you could do that as well. So with that one out of the way, we'll now move on to location number 9. Alright, location number 9 is 23.4, 72.9. There we are on the map. This actually isn't too far away from the previous spot, but this time around we're sort of just tucked away using the height of these um, surroundings to sort of give us a bit more seclusion. So the surrounding area is here. So again, you're not actually overly far away from resources should you need them. So you've got the crystal, you've got stone, obviously plenty of wood. I believe um, you can drink this water, I'm not... Yep, yeah, okay, you can drink the water because I can get splashing. Sulfur, which is actually not something I thought would have been here, but nonetheless, there's plenty of sulfur to, to go around as well. Unfortunately, it seems to be a little bit of a hostile area, but that is fine. Oh, and we got four rich metal nodes right here as well, so... It's, it's all about trying to make sure that you guys... Oh, more metal. Oh, okay, so this is where the other location is. So, yeah, uh, the next location is just around the corner. Down here. So, yeah, you've got all the same resources as what the previous spot had. So, again, it's completely up to you. Maybe you can just take both, and if one gets discovered and wiped, well, you've got the backup there, just in case. But I'll leave that up to you guys. You know what you're going, you're going to be doing, so... We'll now move on to the final location. Alright, so the final location for this video. 28.1, 72.4. There we are on the map as a reference. So, again, just trying to find a nice little quiet area to sort of build up in. 
can't play structure here, which is a little bit unsettling. That's a bit annoying, but yeah, play something there if you want to as well. That could be the start of a turret tower if you really wish. So you've got a little groove up here. Being around lava is always a good thing because people will generally try to avoid it. But there it is right here. So I wouldn't mind building up in here if at all possible. Just got to try and build it in such a way that way uh, flames and uh, campfires and whatnot don't seem overly sort of uh, standing out in the open. But lots of stone, got the bushes, got the crystal. E everything that you could possibly need. It even got the red gems here for the element shards. I wonder if there's any more of those running along down here. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. Got a dough dick in the lava. But I think this will just about wrap up the video. Here we've got uh, metal as well. So this uh, biome is quite rich with the resources. So that's a good thing. But you will need to get a mining drill. So if you use ruffle some feathers, the, uh, the arctic... Um, sort of um, the Arctic mission, then I believe you'll probably have a good chance of of getting some uh, <laughs> getting some mining drills. Oh, hello! Can I place anything in here? Nah, bugger. Not to worry. It's fine. All right, but I thank you guys for being patient and watching the video. Probably dragged out a little bit longer than what it's supposed to, but. Nonetheless, I will catch you guys over in Luna. See you then.